of all the sort of string instruments, I guess it's the greatest compromise. You know, acoustically it's a massive compromise. It shouldn't really exist, the viola. <laughs> the form of a violin or a cello is acoustically perfect. If the viola was exactly in proportion, then it would be unplayable. The, the neck would be far too long. The voice of the instrument is, while it's maybe compromised by the fact that it's not sort of acoustically perfect, whereas a violin speaks very quickly and it's certain things that are easier, but what it gives it is this sort of innate character to the sound, a sort of sense of pathos, some people say. There is an inherently sort of emotional voice to the viola. And I think that's what I love about the instrument. And I think that's what composers have reacted to as well over the years. I think being a viola player is a very different environment from being uh, you know, a violinist or a cellist, I think one has to be a real chameleon. You have to be able to, to play your instrument in, in so many different contexts, um, not just in a solo context. So I think I wouldn't just go for one path. I think music's more multi-layered than that.